carry him along. Okay, so this is where a lot of feminists have problem because they they talked about they talk about seeking permission, submitting to a man on social media. I said that a lot and they they tell people that you don't need to get a man's permission, you don't need all of that, you're an adult and all of that. I'm here to talk against that because those are the, that's exactly why their marriages get ruined. It's that mentality that means their marriage gets ruined. Even though I'm not going to tell you to come at your husband like, uh, darling, I need permission to do this. No, I'm, I won't tell you to do, to do that. But have the intention of always getting your husband's go ahead before you do things. Let it be at, at the back of your mind, right? Whenever you're trying to do something, always run it by your husband. Like, oh, darling, I'm thinking of doing this. I'm trying to do this. I want to do this. Avoid situation where you say things like, okay, I want to go and buy um, the, we need this stuff in the house. I want to go to the market to buy it. Or um, I will be, I will be, I will register for this course next year so that I can do it. I'm just saying you should avoid that definite statement that means i've made up my mind this is what i'm doing right you are now a team with someone you are a team with someone and that person is not just your teammate it's kind of like your head it's like your head as ordained by god to lead you to 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 be your head to be your headship to be an authority not only over you, but your children. Like, there is an hierarchy. So, always come from, whenever you want to do something, always come from this place of, I want to do this. Um, I need to do this. I would love to do this. So, just kind of like, hear what your husband wants to say about it. And even sometimes when he disagrees with you, as hard as it is, I want to tell you to let him have his way. Let him have the, his way like 80% of the time. I always tell women to apply the 80-20 rules. I probably have a video for it. I can't remember now. So 80, the 80-20 rule says 80% of the time agree with him. Reserve the 20% for the times when you really have to disagree. Where it's really important to you to do that thing or not to do that thing. So this is how that's going to help you because if you are applying the 80 20 rules you will be you would have created an impression on him that my wife accepts my leadership i can lead her she's submissive to me she respects me there's there will already be kind of like um positive sentiment override all right you kind of like feels like the authority because you know 80 percent of the time you, you let him have his way so when the 20 percent comes right that you don't you have to disagree it's easy for him to quickly back down because that's something you hardly do right so it's easy for him to, to want to be swayed to your side right especially from um with the way you're going to put it across like oh darling i know you don't want this but this is really important to me i need to do it i need to do this it's really important to me and i'd like to support you here that i really don't want to go however you 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 say it even when you don't you don't get it right in how you fight for it like you just go ahead and do it it's not going to be as bad as it's your husband is going to feel if you've not been applying the 80 20 rules that even if it is like should we buy bread or should we buy shawarma you've always been having your way it's always been what you want you've always been having your way or dinner uh i've cooked this oh but your husband comes and says this is what i want to eat and you're like no I, I this is what i've cooked this is what you have to eat then you have your way if you've been having your way having your way like that when the important stuff comes it's just going to be really bad because it's just going to feel like i can't tell you anything i can't lead you you don't tell me to me but when you when you've been applying the 80 20 rules it's softening the landing 
So, uh, again, the point of this video is that you should have the intention and mindset to always run things by your husband. Don't let him come home and find out that you have you have already fixed the baby room, you've already bought all the things that it's needed, or he calls you and you are like, oh, I've gone to this place and this place. You know, it, when you run things by him, it, it increases the intimacy because now you have to talk about things. Right? You have to talk about a lot of things. You have to call him multiple times a day that, oh, I want to go check this person out. This is what is going on. You build that into me, see, let him see into your world. And then you you are like, oh, where are you to this? And then there is this checking in with each other, running things by each other. Um, I remember I know this beautiful couple at a shop I used to have. They're just next door to my shop. And and his wife is the husband that is next selling beside where I used to sell. And the wife is has a fashion house somewhere else. But they talk throughout the day, right? You you think the the wife lives in, in a different city, the way they talk, the way they keep in touch. And you know, the, the husband is like constantly on the phone, you know, because the wife is updating him about something, sending pictures to him. Maybe she wants to buy curtains. In a fashion house, send the pictures to him, uh, telling him to choose which one. So it just keeps the communication and intimacy going. That's one advantage of it. The second advantage of it is that it it, it makes it helps your husband to feel like the leader, okay, to feel empowered, to feel like is is the one making the decision. Uh, by the time you are on, just um. Just taking decisions like that because you, you you didn't put your mind to it. You just feel like this thing has to be done and you, you are doing it. Or you just feel like um, you need to do something and you are doing it. Gradually, your husband is going to be feeling emasculated. Especially if you are an empowered woman that has your own money, that is more successful. It's really, really easy, very fast for him to feel like you don't see him as an authority. So have it in mind to... To always constantly run things by your husband, maybe the school, the children we go to, let him decide what he can afford, if he can augment, you know, just carry him along and make sure you're agreeing on these things together and make sure he's mostly taking the lead.